Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to continue our informational expository text, but it's much shorter today, and it's kind of a, of a neat place that you've probably never heard of. You'll be watching this slideshow called Double Good, and then you'll be completing the assignment on slide three. All right. One of the strategies it talks about on this page is sometimes when you're asked questions from what you've read, you can go back and use the article to look up the answers. And that's a perfectly good thing to do. Even when you see this in a slide presentation, you should go back and look at the slides, read through the slides to find your answers. Just doing that helps with your comprehension skills, okay? So you think about what you've heard or you've discussed and you go back and search for it. And then um, you ask yourself questions as a reader, as you're reading or as you're listening to someone read to help you with clues from the story. Okay, double good. Texarkana may be the most unusual city in the country. One half is in Arkansas, the other half is in Texas. It has two mayors, two fire departments, and two police departments. Texarkana's name comes from three states, Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana. The borders of Texas and Arkansas run right through the middle of the city but Louisiana is 25 miles away. Louisiana is in the city's name because in the 1800s, the people who built the city thought it would touch the Louisiana border. The State Line Avenue in Texarkana's main street. On one side of the street is Arkansas, on the other, Texas. At one time, there were two post offices in town. Now there is only one. It is part of the federal building that was built in 1933. The base of the building is pink granite from Texas. The walls are made of limestone from Arkansas. The border between the two states runs right through the building. Outside the federal building, the borderline is painted on the sidewalk. It sounds confusing to live in Texarkana. However, the city's slogan is twice as nice. That's because it is all one community of people who live together. And then you can see on the left hand side of your screen that they have their city name, Texarkana, and that, that federal building right there, half in the state of Texas and half in the state of Arkansas. Interesting place, right? <laughs> really different. And probably not a place that you're familiar with. So on slide three, you're going to answer these comprehension questions. And I gave you a pink square to fill in your answers for number one, number two, and number three. And all you need to do on this slide is put the letter. So the first one gives you a graphic web and it gives you some things in each one of the objects. You have to read through the question and figure out which letter would best belong in the missing web piece. And then number two, what is this article mainly about? That's sort of a summary conclusion question. And then number three asks you to go back to paragraph three about the federal building. And then it asks you a general question about it. You may go back to this slide where the number three is right here and then read through that paragraph again to find the correct answer for number three. All right, bye for now.